of the Warriors, Mark Darnell. Great win tonight. Man, I, <laughs> I'm so proud of this group, man. I, I'm just starting to see what GSAC play is really all about. So it was fun to just uh, be engulfed in that game and uh, just the competitive level of it. I mean, you can see why that's a Final Four group. Matt really knows what he's doing and how to uh, build a program and has a culture over there and a great team. So uh, it's a huge win for us at home to start GSAC play, uh, to hold home court. That's huge. Yeah, and you had some guys coming out and playing some good ball tonight. Uh, Jamaris Early, he ended up with 14, 21 for the artist formerly known as Ty Artis because that man just fills it up. Yeah, yeah, Ty's... Uh, Ty's feeling comfortable right now. He's really got uh, good balance and control. He he really showed uh, poise at, at Simpson. Is uh, you know in, in practice he had been pressing a little bit. And he's just starting to settle down more. And Simpson, I think, really started it off for him of uh, just making simple decisions uh, because he's finding other guys too and limiting his turnovers. This game and last game both. You know he's doing all this without turning the ball over and being hurried. So he's doing a great job for us. Yeah, and you're all American, of course, Miles Corey with 14. Would have loved to have seen that dunk fall near the oh, end. It's just man. a little tall. Yeah, that, you know, we, we'll blame Ty on that. We'll blame Ty on that. I think Miles jumped as high as he could. Yeah. So, uh, I like it when Miles goes up yeah, and he bends the knees. Yeah. And then when he unbends the knees, he seems to go up another three or four inches. It, I, it's crazy. He needed you know, six I'm, there, though. You know, you got to kudos Coach Travis. Coach Travis has been my year all year on stuff. And, and my staff is doing such a great job with the scouting reports. And uh, just really enjoy uh, our staff and, and their ability to help me through these games and and as I get more experience as a head coach, so uh, I kudos Travis uh, a lot for that stuff. And, and John you've got to have Brendan. around, yeah. no doubt. Yeah. And let's talk about your Aussie. Yeah, yeah. Aiden Jansen, the walking double double. Yeah, he he's been crazy, man. He's all over the glass. He wants to come out. I just can't take him out. I can't keep him out. He just he, he's like you know a Draymond Green without the attitude. Yeah, I tell you what, he just you know basketball IQ off the. Yeah, road. he can make plays with the ball. He can shoot. He he'll can grab pass. the rebound. He'll lead the break. Leads the break. He rebounds he's it at a high level. He's just something else. He's a lot of yeah. fun to have. And, on this and team. he's a leader, man. He's just a leader, and and guys really. It, the reason why he's a leader is guys. It doesn't fall in deaf ears with him because he shows up every day. Uh, he does all the gritty stuff, the right things, and he's just one of the most enjoyable people to be around. Now let me ask you this: Did he lean out over the uh, of the holiday break? He looked a little leaner to me he, coming he out said, today. It's funny you said that. It, I think it was beginning of December he said how much weight he'd lost. And most guys lose weight during the year, right? Mm -hmm. That's natural. But he's lost some. So he actually was getting some extra lifts in just to try to maintain his strength and stuff. So he's doing what he needs to do but he, uh, and keeping that strength. But he's definitely losing a little just weight. Just keep doing what you're doing, Mr. Uh, Jansen, because he's been yeah, outstanding. He's, he's been fantastic. Okay, so we got a big one coming up Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling going into that? Well, dude, I wasn't even thinking about it till now. So I had to ask. Yeah, <laughs> I always take these games Thursday, Saturdays, one game at a time. I just, I just find that to be the right approach in my career and, and seeing my mentors and stuff do it. And so now it's going to be a long night, you know, long night and long day tomorrow. Uh, but dude, this group held a team that's averaging uh, over 80 points a game to 59 and really bought into the game plan and guarded. Held them to 33 and 22 is they, a crazy defensive some, job, some man. Great defense. So we tonight. just we need rest and recovery. Yeah, and then uh, try to get a simple game plan put together. So you, know, and go you say you're not going to get any sleep. Does that mean you're going to start breaking down film? Tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to do it. Got to. You're do a head coach. Yeah. So you roll. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll rest in April. Yeah. There you go. There you go. That a boy. Yeah. Well, great yeah. win tonight. Right. Thanks for joining me on Appreciate the post game. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dave. Thank Again, you. the Warriors yep. pulling out the nice win, 66-59. Go Dubs. Go Dubs. And we're going to call it a night. Thanks to the guys up in the booth. Thanks to the folks right here on Press Row. I'm Dave Rosenthal. As we like to say, good night and God bless after a nice dub by the Warriors.